J220. I've got Sam Moores with me. You've definitely seen Sam Hello. in my previous videos. Hello. Sam Moores photo. And we have very kindly been gifted for the whole weekend this amazing XJ220 from Don Law Racing. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you'll have seen this car a few times. We are taking this car to uh, Supercar Drivers, which is a uh, sort of, would you say, a northern supercar club? Yeah. Uh, so every year they have their sort of season opener and they call it a secret supercar meet but there's about 300 supercars turning up so I don't know how secret it actually <laughs> is. Secret, but, yeah. <laughs> but we thought because there's going to be so many cars going chances are there's going to be other 675 LTs even yeah. F12s and we thought what won't there be there <laughs> and hence the XJ to the land yacht. Exactly yeah uh, also I thought it'd be great to get Sam in the car because Sam's also an F40 owner and these were kind of similar similar eras. Yeah. I, I aimed at doing a similar thing, getting um, achieving very high speeds for very cool brands. <laughs> I know you haven't driven this yet, but what's no. your experience of living with the, the F40 like? The 40 is it's, it's, it's kind of funny because I I thought that that was my day. That my car is a 89, right? And they, so they were built from 87 to Sorry. 91. Oh, boost! Oh. <laughs> so much um, talk. And so, so we were looking up yesterday when these were made. These were 94 yeah. to 96, is that what I said? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I think it was 92 to 94. 92 to 94. Yeah. So a little bit newer, but whenever I get in the 40, I feel like it's a, that, that for me sets the date of, yes. of like what a 89 car is like. And yeah. um, <laughs> well, <laughs> yours, in, like, yours in comparison is incredibly stripped down. But yeah, there's like nothing in it. There's nothing like, in it's, it. It's, 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 it's got aircon. I mean, this has That's electric windows. This has got know? electric windows. We've got stereo. The reclining seats. Yeah. You know, there's like lots of leather lots everywhere. Of leather, this clad, is definitely yeah. a GT car. Well, you can see the like chassis welds on yours. Yeah. You can see everything. Or it's, you can sort of be like, oh, yeah. yeah oh, <laughs> donk, donk. <laughs> but they, they definitely both have boost. Oh God. So this has the 80s lag. Uh, where it's you can plant your foot. I mean, if you keep it in boost, it's brilliant. Like you, yeah. you, you ride the boost, you ride that torque, and this has a lot of it. It is thick with torque. But by God, if you don't get it right, you plant your foot, and it's like. Uh, yeah. Right. You know, you just, well, I did a leg down to Geneva last month in a friend's XJ220, and I had my laptop out on my lap, and I was editing, and we were having a chat. The chances of you doing that in the F40 are zero. No, no. Like, like it is so loud. Yeah, my my car is pretty loud. It's got very. It's got straight vibes because it's yeah. an early car. It's got no, no cats or anything. And, the, and it's just like the overall oh, thing. The whole time. It is hilarious. I would say the sound of it is definitely more of a sense of occasion than in this. But as a, as a car to sort of just, I mean. I think you have to think less about using this. Would you yeah, say with this F40, it's like, like a big deal. Away, in yeah. terms of like driving and stuff, I feel like you can just you can just like put it in fourth and just like cruise around. Use it. Yeah, and it, it's got something about the size and yeah. like weight. Yeah, and the fact that we're like in quite a comfy, yeah, like comfortable isolated area it's makes it big. The forty, you, you can tell there's not a lot in it. Like it, it weighs. Oh, you kilos can, or something. And, and, and you can really tell it's and, light as well. It's super, super yeah. agile. And so, we've got like about an hour's drive. The best way of me explaining this is a runway packed full of some of the world's best supercars. Should be a really good day.
SF12 up front, this TDF. I just met the owner. Uh, he's very in kind, very kindly invited me to drive it at some point. But uh, it, this is possibly my favorite car. This guy, this is the guy with the uh, Carbon LT Spider that was on my channel uh, twice now, I think. One at Signature, one when he picked it up. We've got an, another HS in a beautiful, like, purpley black shade. There he goes. And this is what it's all about. Supercars and petrol heads a go-go. <laughs> uh, this is awesome, man. So good. GT2 RS. We got a 911R here. What a fabulous day out. So sunny. <laughs> Vast enjoyment. So has anything uh, caught your eye so far, Sam? I think uh, it's just the number of cars is just obscene. It is, it is uh, obscene. And, but also the quality, the caliber there, there of the is some, here. There is some mental stuff, it's but fabulous. that TDF is, is, is very nice. It's very nice, yeah. Uh, things like the R here is, is, is very, I find it a very stuff. interesting car. I'd, yeah. love to, I'd love to brag one. Try one, yeah, yeah, <laughs> rag it around and see. So up front, so we are in uh, wave two. Basically all of the hyper cars were in wave one, yeah. which are already all the way up the front of the runway. We're in w wave two, which is the sort of uh, almost as cool, but not quite as expensive cars. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> There's a very nice Pro GT, uh, but it's a kind of interesting enough. Oh, I Couple love of the wastegate on this thing. <laughs> yeah, it makes some great noises. about events like this is all your mates turn up you know everyone from the car world because while we do see each other we don't see each other that often and it's awesome to be able to bond about it and just look at what, look at what I'm seeing right now I've got this massive convoy of cars heading towards me tailed by an, a massive military plane by being towed by a tractor look at this I'm gonna step to one side is for I think just general petrol heads is for me this event has really started to be the event that kickstarts the whole season and you should be really proud of that I mean it's your event that really launches the whole supercar season yeah it is. it's, it's something to be super proud of and like I say it's just getting everyone together have an awesome day yeah so it's a yeah. What was your expectation of how much money you were supposed to raise? We hoped to raise 10 grand, I think we raised 12 and a bit, which Fantastic. is awesome. And that brings our total to 50 grand for Blue Bell Children's Hospice, so that's cool. But just getting everyone together. Yeah. And we obviously do this sort of pretty awesome photo shoot with all the specials on the front, and then a few more specials, and then just everything. And 
incredibly, you've managed to get what we think is the first Chiron outside of a show environment. We're here, it's yeah. on the road, and it's at your event. Yeah, it's congratulations. Well, congratulations. It's fantastic. Well, yeah. To the owner, he literally got it a few days ago. Amazing, And to bring it? it along, and to surprise everyone as well, because no one knew it was so, coming, did no, they? No, not at all. Thanks for bringing the two. It's quite all right. Well. Yeah, well, I was going to bring the LT, and Adam said, to be fair, there's a couple of LTs coming. Is there anything spicier you can bring? Phoned up Don Law, and they uh, dropped this in the XJ220. So thanks to Don for that. Yeah. But let me just leave you with the scene that me and Adam are sharing now. It's to the end of this fantastic event. Awesome. Thanks for coming, James. Cheers, mate.